Hello guys, in this video I'm going to try and fix this uh, Fujitsu Siemens monitor. Let me just uh, really quick show you what it, it uh, actually does. It doesn't really want to power on. It just uh, flickers the power LED for a while and then it, uh, it will shut down. No matter what you try to do, this is its response. From my experience uh, on these types of monitors, uh, this is a power supply issue, probably bad caps. But yeah, let's open it up and uh, see if it's true also this time. Let's do it. Plastic back uh, cover is off. Uh, this plastic it's really old and honestly a few times I al almost thought I will uh, break it when trying to take it off because the clips were holding in really tight and the, it was making really funny noises but it's off next I will undo some more screws and this is where we want to go in this not really interesting probably I will only take out one of the speakers to show you how it look like looks like and also because I'm curious but here is where we want to go. Okay, it's open. If you do this, be very careful for uh, residual high voltages. And I was right, the caps are gone. Three of them here and one here completely uh, bulging. So I will replace those and 99% this thing will power up without any issues. If I see bad caps, I don't even try and search for something else. I replace them and then see what happens. So, let's do that. Okay guys, first uh, cap replaced. I didn't have the exact same value as it is a... Uh, let me just look at it. 56 microfarads at 25 volts. I didn't have this uh, weird value. All that I have uh, that was a little bit close was 100 microfarads at uh, 35 volts. 35 volts is good, higher voltage uh, means it's less likely to get damaged again. Higher microfarads, mm, not really good. It should have been at least uh, 63 microfarads to be as close as it could have been to that one. This is all I, all I have. I want to get this done. From previous experience I know it will work, it shouldn't cause any problems, but I cannot guarantee on it. But as this will be used uh, in family, if it ever becomes a problem, I will fix it again. Uh, and this I salvaged myself when I was, I think, under 15 years old. So I'm really happy that I'm using it. And next. Let me just show you, this one should have been 1500 uh, microfarads at 10 volts. Yeah, it just uh, has about 10% capacity left. So I'm going to replace it with this one, that is uh, 1500 microfarads at 16 volts. So this is uh, higher voltage, should be no issue. So let's do that now. And of course the other tools, uh, tools the other two, they are uh, 470 microfarads at 25 volts, exactly like this to here. But they are not uh, the same company, but doesn't really matter. All the caps replaced. Uh, when doing this, again be careful for uh, residual uh, current voltage. And make sure you do not let the, let the leads of the capacitor longer than the rest of the, the leads on the board. And that's about it. Now let's start uh, putting this thing back together and see if it works. Just to make sure you do not uh, put the high voltage uh, wires in the wrong position, mixed up. I uh, recommend you to make uh, some marks on them with uh, a black marker. Uh, 
for example I made this on the side and on the side here so clearly these two go together and on this I made diagonally a line so again you cannot mix them because clearly this uh, goes uh, like that I did the same thing over there although you cannot it's a huge difference you cannot put them wrong but uh, you could mix this uh, other way around so yeah now I should put everything back together and give it a quick test and before I forget this is the tiny little speaker and it's actually a pretty nice one it has a paper cone and a cloth surround so this will not uh, uh, succumb to the dreaded uh, rot that uh, destroys many speakers because this treated cloth will last basically almost forever and it really looks pretty nice. Now let's uh, put this back together like I said. Will it power on or will it blow up? Of course I recommend you to try and test it without putting absolutely everything back together. Just make sure again you do not electrocute yourself. But I was feeling... Uh, I don't know... Uh, lucky today. <laughs> so let's do this. and it's on. This is what we wanted to see. Of course it doesn't have a signal but we do not really care about that. It's powering on and off without absolutely any issues. So yeah job well done and finished. So yeah thanks for watching, subscribe, like, check out my other videos and see you in the next one. Bye!